every once in a while somebody says, well, why don't you, why don't you change all administrative actions? Why don't you uh, uh, alter all central organizational lines? There's a problem they actually don't see the breadth and depth of. And that problem is this. The character of this planet and the population here on makes it practically impossible to do anything with this planet. This planet is part of a larger federation, was part of an earlier federation, and passed out of its control due to losses in war and other such things. Now, this larger confederacy, this isn't its right name, but we have often called it and referred to it in the past as the Markab Confederacy. And uh, it has been wrongly or rightly pointed to as one of the tail stars of the Big Dipper, which is the capital planet of which this planet is. Now, all this sounds very space operation, that sort of thing, and I'm sorry for it. But uh, uh, I am not one to quibble about the truth. This gets in people's hair every now and then. And uh, I, I don't see any point in lying in order to be acceptable. These uh, various planets united into a very vast civilization which has come forward up through the last 200,000 years is formed out of the fragments of earlier civilizations. Now, I can't tell you accurately exactly what these blokes are up to or where they're from. Uh, now, this is all very important. It's very important because they have a terrible problem. And they have the basic problem, how do you kill a thetan? And that's a terrible problem to men who have very, very guilty consciences and blood on their hands. Great problem. Probably the best way to uh, hide your overts is to give somebody amnesia. You see, then they don't know what you've done to them. And then tell them something else has happened. And that is what is going on here. Now, the fellow who conforms to that society is in no vast trouble, perhaps. But the point is that their ideal is the conformist. Now, these conformists are pretty weird, and the, the personnel of that particular society is pretty scummy, to say the least. They practice cannibalism. The stuff you get on racetracks, racetrack drivers, this Roman circus uh, type uh, entertainment, don't you see? So they specialize in the fellow who will conform. Now he ordinarily is a is a waker who is content to draw wages and uh, not do another single blessed thing. You, you know, never never really get up, improve his lot, you see, and keep on plugging along somehow, or even slump into indigence. He still their choice of personnel. So this leaves the brilliant artist, the brilliant engineer, the manager, the genius, the criminal, the pervert, non persona grata. And they sentence these people, the upper class, that is to say the brighter gent, because they can't control him and they're afraid of him, and the lower class because it's too vicious even for them. And they condemn these people to perpetual amnesia. Dead forever, they call it. The problem of killing a Thetan. Wrap them up in moss balls and ship them down here, and here we are. And that is the population of this planet. All right, here's a population then of minimal workers, maximal managers, <laughs> artists, geniuses, criminals, and perverts. What you going to make out of this lot, huh? <laughs> now, those are the blokes you're talking to when you say, add up the left-hand column of the ledger. Well, of course, the artist says he could add it up much more prettily. The guy who actually, uh, in his own right, was a very skilled manager... He says he could devise a much better a system. It's true, too. He probably could. If the bird's a criminal, he's just sitting there trying to figure out how he can add it up so he can short you. And uh, 
There's your zone of operation. There's your response to H.C. in trying to get an organization running. Because the basic crime was non-conforming. The basic crime wasn't being a criminal. The basic crime was not conforming. Well, actually, this group has gone ahead and made up, up until recent times, a totally different civilization than the civilization which planted it here. In the last 10,000 years, they have gone on with a sort of a decadent, kicked-in-the-head civilization that contains automobiles, business suits, fedora hats, telephones, spaceships. Quite interesting, but a civilization which looks an almost exact duplicate but is worse off than the current U.S. civilization. Therefore, you find the current U.S. and Western civilization rather stimulative because it has moved up to look like the Markabian civilization. It's been moving up here rather rapidly, and now we're at a point, a very high level of re-stimulation, because the automobile design, the train design, ship design, well, they've got ships in those areas, looks just like the Queen Mary, and uh, the fire engines, and uh, the stuff you do with uh, men's clothes, particularly, all of these things are the same image. So you're going into a highly re-stimulative era because we've not had this before. And remember that this society at the present time looks dangerous. It looks very dangerous. One of the highest crimes you could pull in that Markabian society, probably even today, is income tax. You make one comma wrong and it's dead forever. Sounds weird, doesn't it? So they got everybody paying income tax. Awful re-stimulative. Probably nothing much wrong with income tax for it was administered as a tax. But it isn't. It's administered as a punishment even on this planet today. Well, it's one of their prime punishments in the Markabian civilization. All of this adds up to what? An era going on right now of highly re-stimulative associations in the civilization and therefore a high felt level of danger. People feel like they are in danger. Scientologists every once in a while, hearing me talk like this, feel even more in danger. They say, boy, those guys will have to land here tomorrow, you know. Of course, I pull this every once in a while. I, Diana suddenly appeared on my right side last night while eating dinner. Uh, I didn't even know she was in the room, you see. And just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a pair of white spots that looked like the spats a spaceman uses, you know. And for a split second, I said, well, here they are, you know. <laughs> No, uh, gents of this character who have a system worked out this way, would the last thing in the world they'd do would be blow their own game. See? All I'd have to do is land one spaceship, and they feel like everybody would go into convulsion of suddenly remembering everything, and they do, you know. Any rumor of a men from Mars or something like that, and this planet goes into a total convulsion. They uh, produced Orson Welles' broadcast down in uh, Quito, I think it was Ecuador, and... Uh, the radio station there, I think a 17-story building or large building, whatever the figures were on it. And mobs tore that building to pieces and killed 17 people in the process. They practically slaughtered the staff of that radio station. In other words, they went mad. So they know that great riots are tended by this, but a landing in force without any, without any equivocation that it had been a landing of some type or like this would be liable to restore everybody's memory. I think that's what they feel. Whether this is true or not, we couldn't worry less. But here you are. That, that's the point. Here you are. That is this planet. Every once in a while you get mad at government on this planet when in actual fact you're mad at the Markabian government. And uh, there's a, a, a great deal of confusion. Every once in a while somebody will get awfully furious with an organization, very furious with an organization here on this planet, when they have actually identified the organization with the Markabian civilization. And it re-stimulates a terrific unreality. It re-stimulates amnesia. Uh, you won't find the citizens of this planet very far in disagreement with what you're doing, so therefore you've got some kind of explosion going. Well, these guys are not, not going to blow their own show, see. They're not going to do anything peculiar about it. They probably got us all sized up if they know anything about us at all. 
uh, they probably have some dim idea of what we're doing and saying, oh, yes, ho-hum, and give the devil his due. Uh, they might even say, well, hey, what do you know? Those guys might be producing a type of technology which we ourselves desperately need. Look at that. See, now they know the problems exist. They couldn't have had any decent solution or they wouldn't have taken the route to solution which they have. They are beings too, remember that. So when we look at all this, you are one, organizationally, handling people who are revolutionaries. They are nonconformists. Probably the common denominator of this planet is revolution. Probably the one thing you could always start on this planet would be a revolution. Because <laughs> the state of perpetual revolution. Try to hold any organization together of any kind whatsoever it becomes almost impossible because everybody you're dealing with is a nonconformist. All right, so far goes the civilization. There are just those few statements on the thing I thought you might find of interest. <laughs>